Okay, in this video I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to do RAID reassembly with Xbase Forensics using uh, some sample images provided to me by Jens Kirschner of Xbase Forensics. Um, it's only going to cover the basics because I don't really know enough about RAIDs to um, uh, proclaim to be an expert in the various technical aspects of it. So I've created a new case. I will add my images for which there are three. For all intents and purposes these are three separate images of three separate disk drives numbered one to, th to three. Select them all and click open. And the next forensics, I'm using version 17.4 by the way. Um, naturally opens them but can't actually do anything with them as it is. To reconstruct the actual RAID itself, we go to Specialist Reconstruct RAID System, and because I've already run this once, uh, frustratingly, just at the end, I made a mistake, and so I'm having to do it all over again. Uh, but it's remembered uh, the three forensic images. Uh, I think that's because I did it earlier, or it might have just automatically realised. I think usually, when you run this, it will. Uh, certainly, when I run it earlier, these are empty. Uh, and you click your ellipsis to choose the appropriate image that you want to be component one, two, three, and so on down the down the list. Obviously, different raids and different setups will have different orders and different numbers. But well, this is a fairly straightforward demo. You, if you needed to change the header size and sectors, you would do so there. And here you have the option of choosing which kind of raid it is that you're actually trying to rebuild. So if it was a RAID 5, you would choose one of these here. If it was RAID 0, the one at the top, and so on. Here you can change the stripe size in sectors, which are usually multiples of 2, uh, perhaps always multiples of 2. Again, I'm not uh, an expert enough to say how they vary. Uh, but they would typically be obviously be 64, or 128, or 256, or 512, and so on. And if you've reconstructed a RAID that looks like it's all OK, because you can read the file system, be sure to actually check that some of the files themselves can be read properly, look at some pictures for example and make sure they all look correct because if they're out of line and look a bit skewed that will be more than likely because your stripe size and sectors number is wrong. Um, and you can remove these as well if you want, you can make uh, image 2 as component 3 and so on if you need to. So having done that you click OK and Xbase Forensics has opened a new tab at the top here as a new evidence contact, a uh, new evidence object, but it's not added it to my case automatically because I've not set it to do so. If I right click it and choose Add to Active Case, I then get a slightly different coloured uh, um, evidence object and uh, the RAID 0 title along with the partition. If I click on the partition, what you'll now see is that it's all listed for me and I can click on pictures and view all the pictures quite okay which suggests that to me that that's a pretty good working thing and from here I can refine my volume snapshot if I want to so I could compute hashes for all of them um, if I wanted to there we go um, and now what I can do, which is a really cool feature, is having reconstructed the RAID from the forensic images for analysis, I can obviously carry on my case as normal, but what, can I, what I can also do is pass this on to somebody else if I want as a reassembled full image, a single EO1 image, um, without having someone else needing to reconstruct these images separately. So if I click on the top physical element here to make sure I get a full physical image, and then press Alt and C, I can create a new image which I can give to anyone. Uh, the usual defaults, you can change these as you want. Uh, I'm not going to go about talk about disk imaging in this demo. Click OK and what this is now doing is creating a physical image of my reconstructed RAID which can then just be passed on to anybody. So it's finished that. So now if I just create a new case Add 
add my newly created image to it. Now what you can see is As you can see, it's all there without having to mess about, and you could add that image into FTK, Encase, Nuix, whatever forensic tool it is that you want to use, or indeed, obviously, uh, a fellow Xfast forensics user could then just open the image without having to do the reassembly. And you can also do this slightly differently if you've got the physical disks themselves. If you can attach all three of them, in this example, all three disks to your workstation at the same time um, via write blockers naturally say you've got one connected via firewire, one connected via USB and one connected via an eSATA port you can then add all three physical disks to XY Forensics you can then reconstruct the RAID as I've just done using the specialist reconstruct RAID option um, it will add them all and then you can create a single EA1 from those three physical disks um, which means that you then don't have separate images lying about you've got one complete reconstructed EO1 image that you can just use from the start I'm not suggesting that that's a good idea um, I'm just pointing out the fact that that's something that you can do and depending on your circumstances that might be something that's quite useful that's it